Hey, this is Ace and welcome to my very first Yu Yu Hakusho Theories video. In the background are some Yu Yu Hakusho characters that I am currently working on. And I'm trying to release at least one to two characters each week, so look forward to getting one of these characters on the weekend. Anyways, let's get into the topic. What was Demon World like at the end of Yu Yu Hakusho? And how evil were the demons? To begin, I would like to state that the Yu Yu Hakusho anime and manga had different endings. Despite these endings, both the anime and manga felt as though they were building up towards something else. With the introduction of beings just as powerful as Ryzen, and Yusuke's loss against Yomi, how strong and intelligent are the strongest and most intelligent demons in Demon World? And what kind of environment does one need to be exposed to in order to reach the ranks of an S-Class demon? Also, how evil are demons in general? In the chapter Black Saga, it was explained by Koima that Demon World is like a never-ending basement, with stronger and stronger demons living deeper within its depths. It is said that within its most ultimate depths exists demons who are godlike. For example, some beastie demons would be Ryzen, Yomi, Makuro, and Ryzen's old friends. These demons we didn't even know existed until near the end of the series. After the tournament, in the manga, it was stated that the Makai barrier was taken down, and in the end, demons didn't really harm or attack humans as much as one might think they would. In fact, Kurama stated that there are roughly 1,000 human-on-human murders for every one demon-on-human murder. He went on to say that humans have a history of hiring and arranging for demons to torture, steal, kill, and basically annihilate other humans. It was later revealed that under the rule of King Enma, Spirit World would actually capture and brainwash D-Class demons and sent them to the human world with the instructions to harm humans. This brings up the question, how evil are demons? My theory is that demons of Yu Yu Hakusho were mainly products of their own environment. Sure, sure, a lot of the demons we see on the show and in the manga were actually pretty evil. I mean, look at the ancient saint beast and so on and so forth. But what would one expect? After living in environments far harsher than any on earth, coupled with a terrible reputation initiated by the spirit world, how can a demon really break free from the reputation that was already put forth and, and break free from his environment overall? A lot of demons were tragic. Look at the Three Kings for example. Yomi was abandoned, who became blind due to his reckless behavior. Makuro was a slave since age zero and Ryzen fell in love with a human and decided to never eat another human again while in the process starving himself for centuries until he eventually died due to starvation. At the end of Yu Yu Hakusho, Demon World was portrayed under a positive light. For example, the first organized government in that world was initiated and there's a new stated rule for demons not to meddle in Human World. Everything seemed to be going better, at least until the next tournament, where it will only take one bad demon to lead Demon World toward a negative future. Now, while Ryzen had many strong old allies hip to his ideals of human preservation, there has to have been at least one or two old enemies with opposing beliefs waiting for the perfect moment to rule Demon World. And although under new management, it would be impossible for an endless world that has been consumed by chaos for centuries to be turned around and organized in a mere three years. I believe that all the changes are just happening on the surface, while the deepest realms of Demon World remain unchanged and populated by demons capable of destroying Yomi or even Makuro with ease. In the end, there are bright hopes for the future of the Demon World. But only one step of a journey of a trillion miles has been taken. The real question is how long would it take for a real change to occur within Demon World? Now, this concludes my video. How do you think the Demon World was at the end of Yu Yu Hakusho? And how evil do you think the demons were? Tell me what you think in the comments. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please comment and subscribe. And most importantly, have a great day.